Good evening. Jafith Ramos was sentenced for her involvement in the 2016 murders of the Martinez family. That's 25 years for one count of armed robbery, which is to be served at 85%. Jafeth Ramos says sentencing came with no surprise since about a year ago she had entered into a plea agreement with the Cook County State Attorney's Office to testify truthfully against her co-defendant Diego Uribe, who was found guilty and sentenced to natural life last month. Jafeth Ramos did play a huge part in the prosecution in that she was able to walk the jurors step by step through the events that happened. During the trial, Ramos recalled in detail how an argument between Uribe and his aunt started with him asking for money, then developed into him shooting her several times and then brutally murdering the five other family members, two of which were children in their Gage Park home. She pled guilty to one count of armed robbery, and it is armed robbery with a knife with great bodily harm inflicted upon the victim. And pursuant to the Illinois of compiled statutes, again, that sentence shall be served at 85% because there was a, an element of great bodily harm. The now 25-year-old is seeking an additional credit of 1,117 days for programs she completed while behind bars. This includes obtaining her GED and other advanced courses like parenting classes, but prosecutors don't think she'll be eligible. Based upon the crime that she was charged with and the fact that she has to serve her sentence at 85 percent, the statute makes it clear that she may not be eligible for that time, for that additional time that she is seeking. The prosecution thanked the community for their help and contributions in this case. For stepping forward, for letting us know what they know and being willing to come into court even with cases as horrific as this. A couple of Ramos's family members were in the courtroom today. Towards the end, she made eye contact with them and slightly waved before she exited the courtroom. None of those family members that were here today wished to comment after the sentencing. For now, reporting live from the courthouse, Christine Flores, WGN News.